So if you haven't heard the news by now, Jamaica just installed a $5.4 million driving sim at the Swallowfield Examination Depot in St. Andrew. Now the funny thing is, the article I was reading didn't mention if the sim was purchased by Jamaica or given to us from another country. And after more research, I still can't seem to find the answer. But one thing is for sure, if the driving sim was indeed purchased by Jamaica, whoever sold it to us, scam we. Cause $5.4 million for a driving sim is just ridiculous. If we take a quick search on Amazon.com, we can already see a Logitech G923 wheel and pedal for just $449 and a Duangos racing steering wheel stand for $150. Add up the cost, then convert it to the Jamaican currency and we have a grand total of just under 100,000 Jamaican dollars. Someone who would am I try fool cause it's not me. Now I am aware that there are more expensive sims that can simulate g-force and cockpit movement but they are still not that expensive. Quick side note if you are liking the video so far please make sure you like and subscribe as I make car videos like this twice a week every week. Now back to the video. Now in the article they say that driving simulators improves driver training and they are not wrong but at the end of the day it's a simulator. It cannot simulate accurately most situations a driver may find themselves in. For example a skid, different sim rigs will have a different feel and different amounts of force feedback and different sim racers like iRacing, Assetto Cars and BMNG Drive will have different physics which means losing control of a vehicle in any sim racer will feel different compared to real life. What the government should do next is implement a mandatory 1000 hours of driving experience and a learner's license before issuing a driver their real license. Now 1000 hours may sound like a lot but with some quick maths we can see that 1000 divided by 24 equals 41 days. Couple days on the driving sim followed up by 41 days of real world driving experience would really sharpen up a novice driver. This total amount of experience would go a long way in preparing drivers for the road more than what a 5.4 million dollar driving sim could do on its own.